Hey everybody, Josh Matikor here. I've helped thousands of people get jobs in IT and cybersecurity at this point. So if you're into that, definitely subscribe. This video, I'm just gonna be responding to a viewer's comment. Uh, they left this comment on a video where I was talking about, in my opinion, one of the best possible cybersecurity master's degrees. A few certifications in that degree that the classes require you to get some certifications in order to pass. The certs are like legitimate ones that are rec recognized by the government and defense and stuff. And this person basically said like, uh, anyone can do all of those certifications for less than the price of the master's program, which, you know, the master's program, it's about $4,500 per term and you can finish it in like one to two terms. So you're going to be paying like 4,500 to 9K for the program. And yeah, of course, the certifications are cheaper than the actual program. I think he's like insinuating that don't get the master's degree. You should just like get the certs and like bypass a master's degree, which is a fair enough argument. But I wanted to make a video about this just because this style of thinking like is a bit dangerous or it's an incomplete style of thinking, I guess. And I don't really want other people to be poisoned by this, or rather I want people to open up their brain and, and think more holistically about things. So for example, like what he's saying, yeah, it's true. Like you can, you know, get the certs for less than $4,500, but I came up with this thing called the employability framework. And it basically like outlines all the different areas and like things that you need to think about and consider to make yourself highly employable to a broad range of employers, right? Because we don't know like who's looking at our application. We don't know who's looking at our resume because, you know, some people care about, you know, certifications more. Some people care about degrees more. Some people care about experience. Some people care about like, you know, your attitude more than anything. It just, it just really depends. Hence the employability framework. And you need to like look at yourself, um, in terms of this framework, like holistically and kind of see where you're lacking stuff, right? If you want to like kind of quote unquote max out your employability framework, like a degree, it, it does matter because, you know, at least X percent of employers are going to care about a degree, right? And at least X percent of employers are going to care about a master's degree, right? And I kind of made this video that talks about like whether or not I think you should get a master's degree and like there's a, a flow chart, whether, you know, you shouldn't get it. Like, obviously you shouldn't get a master's degree before you have the basics of cybersecurity down. And in my opinion, you shouldn't get a master's degree before you have CISSP because CISSP in my opinion, like helps more. But, you know, if you want to be, if you want to, you know, address all those areas on the employability framework, like, you know, it makes you know, it's worth getting a master's degree eventually, but not before like all this other stuff. Cause I, I have a master's degree as well. And like, um, I'm not sure if it like helped with any of my jobs, but I, I got it just to have it. And I have certifications too, because people care about certifications. So the way this guy is like talking, um, he's kind of like, it's this common thing where it's like one or the other, or like you certs or like degree, but like you, you should in the end, like when your money and time and energy allows you to, you should like eventually get both. Right. Um, if you want to really round yourself out and be highly employable for sure, like, you know, formal education is kind of, kind of on the downtrend, but it's kind of inefficient. Um, WG is kind of fixing this by making it cheap and doing, um, what's it called? like competency based, like self paced type thing. But formal education is kind of kind of on the downtrend and like alternative education and other means is kind of on the uptrend. So yeah, like I, I get what you're saying. But you have to acknowledge the fact that some people depending on the employer, some people care about this, some people care about that. And if you don't want to get a degree of any sort, but you want to remain highly employable, just look at the employability framework. Okay, I don't have a degree. Let me like up another area. Let me get like some extra certs like, you know, CCNA and CISSP, or let me make a really strong portfolio to make up for the fact that I don't have certs, or let me like make my own company and generate my own experience and like do cool stuff and projects to make up for the fact that I don't have a degree or something. Like it's not like one or the other. I just want to like drive that point home where people have to, people are like deliberating if they should go like one or the other or something, or like there's no value in like a degree because there is at least some inherent value in having a degree. It just depends on who's you know reviewing your application so if you're like really risk adverse like i am and you you don't want to worry about you know having to look for a job or getting fired or being out of work or something just look at the employability framework actually just like watch this video right watch the employability framework video 
and that's this is what I do to kind of make sure that um, it's kind of extra insurance for myself. That's why I got my degrees and like all this stuff. So I hope this helps um, try to expand your thinking. It's not like one or the other. It's like a whole bunch of stuff you have to care about. And if you have the best degrees in the world and best certifications, but if you don't shower and you wear pajamas to your interviews, or you don't have, know how to articulate yourself, you, you still won't get a job, right? Employability framework. You have to like care about like all that stuff. So just keep that in mind. I uh, hope this helps. Thank you.